Bonjour, this is Marie-Ève. And I'm Nathalie. And we're from Flemish Theatre. Today we're going to show you how to make a shadow puppet. Building your shadow puppet! Building your shadow puppet. Before you start, make sure you have your storyboard. This is your map to your shadow piece. Now, every good shadow play needs a strong main character. That character will drive the story. What better example than the story of the Little Red Riding Hood to show you a strong character? She is the most important character in the story. And she's on a mission. She is going to deliver her basket full of goodies to her Oma. Okay, okay, I'm gonna start drawing her right now. Oh, oh, wait a second. Now there are a few things you may want to consider before you go ahead and draw and cut out your character. What actions does Little Red Riding Hood need to accomplish in the story. Little Red Riding Hood walks, she holds the basket, she talks, she sings, she picks flowers. That's plenty. Okay, first you'll draw the character, then you will consider a moving body part. Mariev, make sure you think in two dimensions, 2D. Okay, I get it. Okay, I know what I need to do, Let's get to it. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so let's set up to make a simple puppet. So I'm making Little Red Riding Hood today. So I'm gonna base my puppet on the drawing that I've made in my storyboard, draw it onto my cardboard. Just checking out how you want to draw it, what size. I really like to do the puppet the size of my hand because I know that's big enough to put some details, but it's not too big to take over the whole screen. So just maybe use your hand. So now you start to draw. Um, so you see this in super speed on my screen here, but uh, just know that your drawing can be pretty basic. You don't need to put that many details and you also don't need to be too careful about the lines because in shadow, no one's gonna see those lines we're only going to see what you cut out. So the lines that you're making on your drawing are just guides to the outline you're going to make. So now what I want to do is really determine what I'm going to cut here. So I'm using a marker to show you exactly where I'm going to cut. So here we go. Just the outline, not the details. Just be careful with those little pieces there, right? It's like it's the only thing that's attaching it is that tiny centimeter of cardboard. So make sure you don't have anything that's too thin. My leg there is probably the limit of how thin it can be. Cut, cut, cut. And using scissors is the best and easiest way. When you have those little details that are hard to cut with scissors, that's when you use the X-Acto because you'll find that using the X-Acto, it's pretty rough on the fingers, on the hands. It's pretty, um, yeah, it can hurt after a while. So it it's better if you can use the scissors um, for most of the job. Make sure if you're using an X-Acto that you are using the mat underneath, otherwise you will ruin your table. You could also use just a regular kitchen cutting board if you don't have a cutting mat. There you go. So now you have the outline and you always, always, always want to test. Test things. You should always be testing when you're doing shadow. So let's check it out. This is what it's going to look like on my screen. Pretty good shape that I have there. I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so now I want to add some detail. So first off, I want to see the face. So I'm going to do this in a pretty special way today. I'm going to cut out a hole where the face would usually be and make sure you leave some space there on the outline as that's, that's what's going to allow it to hold. So I'm going to cut a hole, but don't make the hole too close to the edge there. So cut that out. And then what I'm going to do for the face is I'm going to use some packing tape. 
So I'm going to put some packing tape on the front of the face and create like a little window where I can actually draw. And I'm also going to put tape on the back side of it because I don't want it to be sticky. So I'm going to put some tape there too. And I'm going to cut off the excess with my scissors. Okay, so now I have this little window. And this is where your markers come in. So on tape, um, markers that work the best are uh, permanent markers. So in this case, I'm using Sharpies Classic. And now I'm basing myself on my drawing, right? So I had a little bit of hair. I had the eyes and the smile. So just going to draw that with my markers. And if you have different colors, that can be fun. You'll see the colors on the screen. There you go. That's what it might look like on the screen. And I also want to see her basket in my puppet. So I'm going to maybe um, draw that out, cut that out. So here we go. You can adjust your drawing based on, you know, what you've cut out. And remember, we won't see the lines. So there's no problem if you just want to go ahead and keep doodling. So this is my outline. You know that I'm going to cut that. So this is what we call negative space. So that's what the Natalie was referring to when she said, think in 2D is you don't see many of the details unless you cut them out. So you have to, um, to think about what elements are really important because it doesn't allow for that many details unless you're going to spend a lot of time on it. So something else that I want to see is the arm here. Um, so how am I going to show the arm? Well, something that you can do is just um, kind of do a, a cut out a line where the where the, the line of my drawing is. So what I'm going to do is cut out just a thin, thin, thin portion there so that light can come through and kind of establish that there is a line there, an arm. So it should be really thin and you have to be careful not to cut too much because you don't want to compromise the solidity of your puppet. So take that out, cut that out. This is really an exacto job here. Do you sing when you're working? Yeah, I always sing. Okay, so I have a few details here. And what you should do now is, yes, you got it. You got to test it. Let's go to the screen. There you go. So you can see my face is pretty good. It does look a lot like the drawing had, I had made. And you can see the outlines of the arms and the basket. Okay, so what's missing now is a rod. Why we want to put a rod? Oh, yeah. So these are bamboo skewers. They are great for puppet rods. And the reason you want a rod is that you don't want your, your hand to be part of the shadow. So the rod will allow you to hold it further away so that the image is, is cleaner. So what you want to do is really have it pretty straight have the rod pretty straight and you want to have a long enough surface that you can tape it to to the puppet um, several times over. So I'm probably going to put two or three pieces of tape here. So tape is your best friend when you're doing shadow. So there you go. I've put three pieces there. Should be pretty good. And now I'm going to test it. There you have it. It's my little red riding hood puppet.